Hello everyone, it's Mark with Launchpad B, and I'm coming in today with another ClipChamp.com tutorial. And today we're going to be doing what is called speed ramping. And here's what it is. Now to be totally clear, speed ramping is not something that's available within ClipChamp. It's not built into it already. Now you do have the ability to completely slow a clip or to speed up a clip, but the whole ramp process um, is not built into here. And there's a way around it. And I've, I've basically tinkered with it and I've figured it out and I'm gonna teach you how to do it as well. Now, why would you use a speed ramp? Well, it's beneficial if you're trying to add some kind of tension to a scene or if you're trying to do some kind of a additional emphasis. So let's say, for example, you're doing a drone shot of a house. It might go really fast around the boring part of the house and when you get to the deck in the back or something, it might slow down and then speed back up again. Uh, so it kind of adds extra emphasis, uh, especially if it's an action shot like the one that I showed you a second ago. So what I've done already is I went ahead and set up my project here and I've got three clips that we're working with. Now, the reason I have three is because there's gonna be a lesson built in here because I want to make sure that if you attempt this, that you've got the appropriate footage. Now, typically when you shoot video, I've always encouraged you to shoot it at 30p. Now, what is 30p? 30p means that there's 30 pictures in a single second. So this is what 30p looks like. It looks like a lot of clips. But when you slow down a video to 50%, you now only have half of that, which is 15 pictures. The result is gonna be kind of a, a jerky where it's kind of like, it's not a very fluid motion. And you really can't slow it because it doesn't look right. So some folks will shoot at 60p, which is this many frames, and then slow it to 50%. And that still gives you kind of a fluid motion uh, in slow motion, but you're limited to 50%. Now, well, since we're talking frames and, and, and frames a second, 60p, 30p, I don't want you to confuse it with shutter speed. Shutter speed is something totally different and I don't want to go off the deep end here, but basically shutter speed means that if you've got a, a really, sh if you're taking a picture and the aperture opens and closes really slow, it's fine for a, a subject that's standing totally still. Uh, but if you've got a subject that's in motion, you're going to get blur. So we don't want to get too deep here. The good news is if you're shooting on a cell phone, like I've been advising a lot of you to do it, it already does it for you. So to demonstrate to you why this is important, I'm gonna do a demonstration by doing a karate kick. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot video in three different settings. In the first test, we're gonna do it at 30p, which is 30 pictures per second. In the second, we'll ramp it up to 60p. And in the final test, we'll ramp it all the way up to 240p, so I can kind of show you the difference. Okay, so the big takeaway so far is that I'm not as good as a karate kicker as I thought I was. Now I will say that 240 frames a second is twice what you see on the screen here. It's a lot of frames and you have a lot to work with. If you even slow it to 10% of the speed, you still have 24 frames, which is pretty much a good fluid motion even at that speed. So what I've done now is I've got our clipchamp.com set up and I've got three clips in here. These are the clips that we captured a second ago. Now, let's start off with the 30p and I'm gonna drop it on here and we're gonna see what it looks like. And this is the, what you shouldn't be doing. If we go ahead and play it at regular speed and let me go ahead and cut out the part we don't need. So here we go with my amazing karate kick. Okay, so there's my karate kick. Now, if we try to slow footage down, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and at the top of the screen, you've got the option to adjust the speed. So I'm gonna slow it down and we're gonna slow it down to half speed, which is 50%. So now let me go ahead and fast forward to the portion where I'm jumping, which is here, and let's see how that looks. So you can kind of see that's a little bit choppy. Now, it might look great to you, but to me looking at that, I, it's, it's kind of running at a slow, the frame rate is too slow. Now, if we slowed it way down to, let's say, we probably wouldn't do this, but let's say we slow it down to 25% of the speed. And let's go ahead and take a look at that kick again. It is very slow, it's, it's very choppy. Uh, and it's not ideal. So the, the reason I'm showing you this is because if you want to do a speed ramp uh, in your own footage, 
you want to make sure that you're shooting at faster than 30 frames a second. So let's go ahead and take a look now at the option that we shot at 60 frames a second. And here we go. Doing this at 60p, normal speed. I'm so graceful. We're going to back that up. And now let's slow the footage down and we're going to slow it down to 50%. I'm even less graceful. So as you can see at 60p at 50%, we still got 30 frames to work with and the motion is a lot more fluid. Um, it, it, it doesn't look like it's lagging. Now, if we try to go slower with that, then we would start to experience the same issues that we had before uh, where there wasn't enough frames and the, the motion was very jerky. So let's see how that looks like if I slow it way down. And again, it's kind of stop motion. So again, if you're working with 60p, um, the slowest I would recommend you going is gonna be at half speed, and that should be enough to get a dramatic effect. You might be able to get a little bit slower on that, especially if it's not somebody's moving as fast as me. I know I'm a ninja, right? Uh, if you're walking through a doorway or doing something like that, you might get away with going a little bit slower. Uh, but now let's take a look at the extreme, which is a 240 frame a sec second version. Uh, so again, let's go ahead and get myself set up. We're going to cut that down to 50%. And here we go. Nice and smooth. Not my kick, the, mo the, the, the footage. Even if I went in here and I cut this all the way down to 10%. Uh, and, and this is being done, like I said, again, it's being done with a GoPro camera that shoots at 240 frames. It's the only camera I own. There's not going to be a lot of cameras on the market that are within reasonable price outside of an action cam that'll shoot at this rate. And you probably won't have any reason to do this at this speed unless you're doing some kind of a sporting event, maybe a karate tournament, or you're doing some kind of a, of a, of a car sequence or something, then it might be beneficial. But at 240 frames a second, at 10% the speed, it's very fluid still. Not my kick, the actual footage itself is very fluid. So let's go ahead and clear that out. So now I'm gonna show you how to do a speed ramp in ClipChamp. And it's not as complicated as it is in Premiere Pro. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna drag our clip in and we're gonna cue it up. So I wanna get to the spot where I'm about to engage. Here we go. I'm gonna split the clip off and we only want the good stuff, which is me making the jump. I'm running, I'm running, and I'm about to jump. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the sweet spot to before I jump, which is right here, and we're gonna split. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get in the air here and we're gonna split again. And then we're gonna go ahead and go in the air and right as I'm landing here, we're gonna split. And then when we get over here, we're gonna split. So now I've turned a single clip into five clips. And here's where the speed ramp comes into play. The first portion of the clip will be at full speed. The second portion of the clip, we're gonna slow that down to 50%. The clip in the middle, we're gonna slow it all the way down. And because I shot it at 240 frames a second, I can slow it down to 10%. Now, if you're doing a speed ramp at 60 frames, my recommendation in the first slow down is to go down to 75%. When you get into the middle one, go to 50%. And then when we get back over here onto this side over here, where you would slow it down to 75%. Now I'm gonna slow it to half speed. And let's take a look at that and see how it looks. Slow it down and then I'm flying through the air. So graceful. Landing and then speeding back up again. And there you go. Oh, speed ramp on clipchamp.com. Same effect you can get out of Premiere Pro, but much easier. I encourage you to try this on your own. Thank you for watching and have a good day.